Welcome design students. In this video we're going to talk about layers, arranging your shapes, aligning your shapes, and grouping your shapes. So let's get started. Layers is a central concept in computer graphics. The use of layers allows us to stack shapes, effects, and images to achieve composites. And without layers we wouldn't be able to build images from very simple things to complex CG effects such as this. This is one layer and this is the CG layer. This layer is on top of this layer. It's that simple. In Gravit Designer, your layers panel is over here. Every object you create creates a layer of its own. So let's create a shape. If I create an ellipse, it creates a layer. If I create another ellipse, it creates another layer. The last object you create is always on top in the Layers panel. You can rename any layer by double-clicking it and changing the name. You can delete a layer by selecting it and clicking the trash can or by selecting it and pushing delete on your keyboard. You can also change the visibility of any layer by clicking the I icon. You can lock a layer by clicking the lock and that means it cannot be selected. And you can also select objects by clicking on it in the layer panel. You can organize shapes in the layer panel by creating a new layer folder, renaming it if you want, and then dragging shapes into the new layer folder. Clicking on the new layer folder will select both shapes but to move them together, you have to click both of them by holding down shift and selecting both of them. And you can see that the difference here, they're both actually selected here. If I just click on the layer folder, you can see that they're not selected. Also under the layer folder, you can lock toggle visibility of everything in that layer folder. And you can look at the outlines of anything in that layer folder by clicking this little button right here. To change the order of the layers, you can simply click and drag, and that changes the order of which shape is on top. So let's create a couple more shapes so I can show you a couple more things. I'm going to create another circle. Sorry. And I'm going to make this one yellow, or green I guess. Notice that it created it on top of the red circle because that's what I had selected. Then I'm going to create a rectangle. Notice it created the rectangle on top of the red circle because I had the red circle selected. If I had had this selected, it would have created it on top of that. Now I'm going to make this circle sort of dark, dark gray and I'm going to get these things in the correct order. I want this circle to be behind everything. So I could arrange it simply by dragging this here to get it behind everything. Or I could select it, come up to the Modify tab, and use the Arrange tools. Now I can bring this all the way to the front by clicking this one, and that puts it at the very top of everything. I could bring it forward one and that puts it on top of the layer that it was uh, below but just one step or I can send it backward one step or I can send it all the way to the back and that sends it down to the bottom of the layer stack or you can just simply drag them in the layer the layer panel here but the concept of, of, of arranging has to do with the order of the layers in the layer stack. Now wouldn't it be nice if I could align all of these and make sure they were all centered on the artboard and centered on each other? To do that, I can use the align tools. If I select a shape, I can come over here and see the align tools over here on the right hand side of the screen. This tool aligns it, centers it horizontally on the artboard, and this tool centers it vertically on the artboard. And I can do the same with each shape. And make
make sure that they're all centered on the artboard. I'm going to grab all of these and put them in this layer folder and I'm going to toggle their visibility and I'm going to create another couple of shapes and show you some other align tools. Okay, so here I have two circles. I can select both of them and align them with each other. If I have them both selected, I can come up here to the Modify Tools. I can use the Align Tools and I can align them left. And that takes this one and puts it over and aligns this one to the left of this one. I can align right and that puts this one over here. I can align center and that puts them both in the center but it doesn't center them on each other it just puts them both in the center of their horizontal position. I can align them by the tops of each other. I can align them by the bottoms or the middle and that sort of splits the difference. And I can align them by the bottoms. Now one last thing I want to show you is grouping. I can select both of these shapes and move them. But in order to avoid having to select both of them, I could make them a group. If I select both of them and come up here to the group icon, group items tool or button, now these are both a group and I just can select one of them by clicking on it. Notice, sorry, over here in the layers panel, a group has been created. A group is not like a folder in the sense that when you click on a group, it stays a group and you can move it as one. However, I can still open the group and just click on one item and then rearrange them. So we've learned about grouping, alignment, arrangement, and layers. And I'll see you in the next video.